When it was released in 2016, Pokemon Go quickly became one of the most successful mobile games in history. Within several days of release, it had estimated 28.5 million daily users, becoming the fastest game to hit number one in terms of revenue. It allowed players to explore places in the real world, catching Pokemon and battling in real time. One of the first mainstream examples of augmented reality. Releasing Pokemon Go was a major milestone for John Hankey, an entrepreneur and the founder of Niantic. In the early 2000s, he was best known as the creator of the technology behind Google Maps. But his long-term ambition for Niantic, which began as an internal department at Google in 2010 and was spun out on 2015, was to help propel the tech industry into the world of AR and VR. Hankey began to strategically plan for three distinct time horizons simultaneously. The now, the near, and the far. In the now, Hankey had to build Niantic's internal infrastructure. Leaving Google meant that many of Niantic's support functions were no longer available. Hence, Hankey had to recruit departmental heads to build out these new areas. In the near, Niantic had to maintain the wildly popular MMO-based Pokemon Go game while innovating new products. And finally, in the far, Niantic explored opening up its proprietary platform to third-party developers that would allow the company to offer a much wider portfolio of AR games. Niantic inherited Google's cross-departmental product management and collaboration in efficient scale-up strategies. To scale up quickly, Niantic leveraged three types of partnerships, operational deals, sponsorships, and IP licensing. In May 2019, the company faced an inflection point. Niantic was ranked by Business Insider as the 24th most valuable private tech company in the US, but was facing increased competition in the AR space from many of the tech giants. By extending Pokemon Go's user engagement through outdoor fests and community days that attracted hundreds of thousands of players to play with other users, Pokemon Go climbed back to the number one position of top grossing mobile games by August 2019. It's been estimated that the company has made over $2 billion in top-line revenue since Pokemon Go's launch and has stayed cash flow positive since 2016. Despite a number of AR competitors entering the market, Niantic's broader, more diverse platform with third-party developers could allow it to establish dominant footing in the immersion field of AR. To learn more, please read Niantic Labs and the Professional Entrepreneur in the Berkeley Haas case series.